All right, fight fans. I hope everybody out there loves to watch women fight because right now, yes, we got a cat fight on our hands. This first beautiful young lady is fighting out of the blue corner. Her fighting style is mixed martial arts. She has a record of 1 and 0, standing 5 foot 6, weighing 125.8 pounds. She fights for Team Tarpon out of Davenport, Iowa. Here she comes, Wildcat Rose Williams. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, she is a freestyle fighter making her cage debut. Standing five foot three, weighing 123 pounds. She fights for Team Mike's MMA, and she's sponsored by Inner Beast Fightwear, Combat Corner, Real Image, and John Johnson. She's also sponsored by Shund. Ladies and gentlemen from Tipton, Indiana, give it up for the beautiful, relentless Heather Bass. And here we go with our female bout of the evening at 125. We have Rose Williams in the red corner, I'm sorry, in the blue corner at 1-0 versus Heather Bess at 0-0. Heather has actually had uh, one other fight, I believe. It was just unsanctioned, so therefore it's not really on her record. Right. Looks like uh, Heather's coming out trying to push the pace. Definitely staying busy. They're clinched up, and she's still throwing like little short punches. Nice punch by the, by Heather Bess. Yeah, it looks like Rose is uh, is in there too. I mean, she's uh, playing some defense there, and Heather's bringing it to her for sure. Yeah, she's throwing a couple knees too. Nice Heather, uppercut. Yeah, Heather's just relentless, and uh, actually that's her name, Relentless Heather Bess. And uh, she's landing quite a few of those uh, little short shots and a couple of upper, uh, uppercuts there. Oh, nice kick. Williams uh, looks a little hesitant now. Yeah, what's her story, do you know? Uh, I do not. I know uh, Heather comes from a uh, karate background. Her and her husband uh, own a school up in uh, Tipton, I believe. That's correct. She is from Tipton. Mike's Martial Arts, is that correct? Yes, Mike's Martial Arts. Looks like uh, more clinching here. Heather Bess uh, still kind of being aggressive with those short punches. Williams trying to throw some as well, but uh, looks like she's getting the worst end of it now. I'd say Heather, you know, with Heather's hands, she really needs to uh, get away from that clinch, start using her distance. Looks like her boxing is a little bit better than uh, Rose Williams. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. But she seems to be very comfortable in that clinch. Like I said, you know, she's throwing those uppercuts, and uh, it looks like they have some, some power behind them. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the, uh, of the female fighters uh, coming to the LFC. We are definitely looking to have more of those type of fights in the future for sure. Speaking of female fighters, you ever thought about getting in the cage? Um, I've thought about it. I've thought about it. Um, I don't want to make a mistake and, and get hurt and not be able to do this with you. So Keep that pretty face of yours. Yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <clears throat> Looks like we got more of the same here, that clinch, and uh, you know Heather throwing those uppercuts and, and short shots to the body as well as to the head. Rose going to work there to the body of Bess. And I believe you're right. Williams is from uh, Iowa. It's uh, Quite a distance to travel to uh, to come to fight at the LFC. I remember when I was in high school, went out to Iowa for wrestling camp, and it was seven hours of cornfields all the way out there. So, not not a scenic route by any means. That was a good setup by Best throwing the knees and uh, pushing off and, and landing that right hook. Williams seems to be dropping her hands there and opening herself up. Looks to be maybe a little winded too. Yeah, I, I do believe so. Her shots are pretty slow. Well, coming to the close here around one, uh, who do you give that to? I don't uh, know. Definitely Heather Bess. Yeah, she's definitely aggressive, and uh, 
I don't know if these uh, girls can keep up this pace for three rounds, but we're going to find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that first you know, she round She definitely stayed busy. You know, both of them did. Um, but I do believe that uh, Heather Indy Best landed probably Tuo. almost double. I agree. She's definitely uh, aggressive, throwing a ton of punches there. Um, wonder if we'll see more of the same of that in round two. If we want to take a, a moment here to thank our sponsors, uh, NDR2O.com and Community Ford. Also uh, want to thank our vendors, uh, MI Entertainment, uh, Interbeast Sportswear. Um, also welcoming tonight the uh, ladies from the Tilted Kilt are in the house tonight. Very nice. Uh, yes. And uh, also special guests that we had tonight. Um, had about 10 guys come in from the Indiana National Guard uh, to watch the fight tonight. So glad that they were able to make it out. Looks like we're getting ready to start round two here and uh, see if Heather can uh, keep this pace up. She's got her hands high. Seems like every time she, she goes in to hit Williams, uh, Williams just kind of drops her head. Yeah, I, I was getting ready to say that too. You know, she, even when uh, when Williams comes in, she's dropping her head, and uh, you know, really exposing herself to uh, a, an uppercut. I don't know if you caught that there. Williams kind of uh, flailing uh, her punches there, kind of open-handed uh, punches to the face there. Yeah, I wonder what's that. That's about. I don't know. You're allowed to use fists. I mean, you know, I, I'm going to use my fist. That's right. That's right. Heather's using hers. Again, yeah. a bunch of short punches there. Now going to the kicks, it looks like. Um, Heather is impressing me here with her uh, with her style. She's uh, mixing it up with the kicks and the punches. And uh, Williams seems to be doing the same, but uh, not nearly as effective as Heather Bass. Yeah, I think the Williams' range is off. Um, you know, I'm not sure if, if that's some you know, a long-term factor that she has, or, uh, you know, if it's a contributor to uh, the first round or not, but it looks like she's coming up short. You know, you'd think that she's gauging, you know, with those jabs, but she's really not doing a full extension on that jab. Um, so I'm not sure what she's got going on there. Oh, nice, nice punches there from Bess. Yeah, she definitely, Rose Williams definitely ate a couple of those. And, uh, you know, I think what Heather needs to do here is she needs to push off that cage. She's dominating the stand-up game. Um, you know, she really needs to, uh, you know, keep this fight at her distance and get out of that clinch. It seems to me, too, that Williams has a little bit of maybe a reach advantage, but she's, she's not using that to her advantage. Heather Bess is not having any problem getting in and, and landing those punches. Yeah, I think that, that another flurry of punches there from Bess. Good job by Bess, yes. Nice one to the chin with the left. William seems a bit dazed now, I think. Uh, definitely has slowed down quite a bit here. Giving her credit, though, you know, she definitely. Oh, a nice punch to the chin there. Yeah, like I said, she was definitely coming back and, and meeting Heather in the center of the cage. So uh, you got to give her credit for that, but she continues to eat those punches. This has turned into a little bit of a fight here. Um, I, honestly, I'd, I'd say that uh, the fight's all on Heather Bess. Yeah, well, Williams is hanging in there. You know, the, some of the female fights we've seen in the past seem, seem lopsided. Um, and, you know, you get one girl in there and the other girl's maybe not had the training or, or doesn't have the stamina. But Williams, even though she's catching the brunt of Heather Bess's punches, seems to be a uh, game to yeah. stay in this fight. Yeah, she continues, oh, like, man. continues to eat those punches, man. Heather, you know, working with those short punches and great uppercut there. Well, it looks like round two, more of the same. Uh-oh. Bess was wincing there. I wonder what happened there at the end of the fight. That's her husband, Michael, there. Yeah, Williams definitely seems like she's, uh, she's tired right now. Yeah, I think, I think both of them are a little bit winded, but, uh, you know, with, uh, with every right, you know, they've, they've come out and continuously. All right, ladies um, and gentlemen, looks like we're going to go into the round number three with this one. They're a great job of staying busy. Let me hear it. Who is here for Rose exactly Williams in the right, camouflage yeah, yeah. shorts? Love to see the women fight at the LFC. You know, it, it changes things up a little bit. And, Who's uh, here you can get, for Heather Bass uh, Two female fighters black. in there that are uh, game to fight like this. I think it's uh, a crowd favorite. You know, I think they enjoy seeing that. And hopefully we'll have some more of that in the future for sure. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but we actually just opened up uh, 
a whole division on cagecraze.com dedicated to the women. To you by very nice, very nice. Community four. Start round three here. Heather comes out once again with her hands high. Williams first to initiate the action there. Williams has got to do something, I think, pretty strong here if she wants to have any chance. I think that the first two uh, rounds uh, definitely go to best. Would you agree? I, I definitely would agree, and I'm not sure what, what Rose has to do here. I don't know uh, what uh, Heather has to offer on the ground, but, you know, it's uh, definitely not in Rose Williams' favor to keep standing up like this. She's just continuously taking, you know, punishment from Heather Bess. I'm surprised we haven't seen that. Oh, now they're yep. going to. Oh, Heather, Heather Best pulls the guard and guillotine. I'm surprised we hadn't seen Williams try to take this to the ground uh, where she wasn't really very effective standing up. She does get out of that, though, and they're back up to their feet. I really think Williams needs to take this, take this to the ground. I agree. <clears throat> well, maybe she it. doesn't have a ground game. I'm not sure. I know that uh, Heather Best does have a little bit of a ground game. Um, I think she's actually won a grappling competition in the past. Um, so, you know, it'd be hard to say. I just think that uh, Heather Bess is overall the, uh, the best fighter in the cage right now. Yeah, Williams continues to uh, take the shots from Heather Bess, but again, not, not giving up or showing any signs of quitting. She's still right in there. Yeah, she just drove her all the way across the cage, and now she has her back in this cage looking to do some work. Heather turns it around. Looks like she's looking for that guillotine again, but she uh, Rose pops out of it. Rose working the body of Heather Best. Good job by Heather Best turning that around, putting Rose up against the cage. Yeah, these, these girls have both lost uh, some steam here, but uh, still throwing some punches here. Heather again with her stand up is dominating. This may go the distance. It just may. I got to give Williams credit for for hanging in there. She's uh, she's definitely a gamer and uh, taking a lot of punches. She's uh oh. Looks like we have a poke in the eye. Williams uh, poked Bess in the eye there. I, I mentioned before with her hands open a lot. Yeah, it looks like she was pushing off, and uh, Heather actually caught a finger to the eye. Looks like it's okay though. She's got it open. Just a little irritating. Yeah, it looks like she's telling yeah, the yeah, she just said ref she's, she's okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, she's having him look at it again. Looks like she's explaining, you know, something. I'm, Unfortunately, we can't hear what she's saying. I think he asked her if, he, if she could see okay, and looked like she was saying, yeah, yeah, I can see. And she's got her mouthpiece back in, ready to roll. Looks like we're going to go back to fighting here to finish up the round. About 30 seconds left here, so if Williams is going to do something, now is the time to do it for she sure. She absolutely has to do something right away. I don't think she even has time for those jabs. She just needs to go in and, and go to end this, this fight. It doesn't seem like she's even interested in trying to take down on, on, on Bess. Oh, she just took a huge left by Heather Bess, and she gave one back. Wow. Looks like the third round is going to end the way the first round started here. Nice punches. Looks like uh, Williams actually got a couple good ones in there. Wow. Impressive fight by the ladies. Yeah, lots of action there. Ladies and gentlemen, give these women warriors a big round of applause for going three grueling rounds. And for the final decisions, we go to the judges' scorecards as brought to you by the Indiana National Guard. Judge one scores about 30-27. Judge two scores about 30-27. And judge three scores about 30-27. For a unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Rudy.